Ladies and gentlemen, Russia is threatening to use nukes on Finland and Sweden if they join NATO. I mean, I tell you what, I would take it seriously. <laughs> I mean, some people may not, but I sure do. So Russian threatens new nuclear deployments if Sweden, Finland join NATO. Mm, mm, mm. Russia says a nuclear-free Baltic region would no longer be possible if Finland and Sweden become NATO members, allotting to additional nuclear deployments in Europe. If Sweden and Finland join NATO, the length of the alliance land borders with the Russian Federation will be more than double. Naturally, these borders will have to be strengthened. Dmitry Medvedev, the former president and deputy chairman of Russia's Security Council, wrote on his official Telegram channel Thursday, Russia will have to seriously strengthen the grouping of land forces and air defense, deployment significant naval forces in the waters of the Gulf of Finland. In this case, it will no longer be possible to talk about any nuclear-free status of the Baltic the balance must be restored, he said. The comments come a day after Finland and Sweden said their decision on whether to apply for NATO membership will come within a matter of weeks. The country's leaders said their security assessment had dramatically changed following Russia's invasion of Ukraine in February. So... Wow. Now, you know, um, Putin has beefed up his nuclear war team. You know, he has a team specialized just for nukes over there in Russia. And he built up that. In fact, around the time he went into Ukraine, that was out in the news that he had started, you know, increasing his nuclear war team. Uh, uh, uh. So the Baltics are the northeastern European countries, Lithuania, Latvia, Estonia, are members of the EU and NATO. Sweden and Finland are members of the EU, but not NATO. And the latter shares an 830-mile border with Russia. If Finland and Sweden did join NATO, this would give Moscow more officially registered opponents. Mevidev, this is what he added. He claimed that NATO was planning to admit that two Nordic states with minimal bureaucracy procedures and Russia response should be taken with no emotion, with a cold head, <laughs> he added. Moscow sees neighboring Finland potential inclusion in NATO as a threat to its national security, as the U.S. could deploy advanced military equipment in Finland if it joins the alliance. Lithuania, which borders the Russian exclave. And so um, when he was questioned about Lithuanian, uh, you know, Mevidev just pretty much brushed it off in the comments. It's nothing new. Lithuanian's prime minister said the country's defense minister added that Russia already has nuclear weapons in the Baltic region. The current Russian threats look quite strange when we know that even Without the, the present security situation, they keep the weapons 100 kilometers from Lithu uh, Lithuanian's border. Okay, nuclear weapons have always, you know, I, I guess that's been a deterrence 
against all of those Eastern Baltic nations where, you know, they had to pretty much watch what they did because of Russia. So I don't know, you know, but it just, it looks like Sweden and Finland, they're moving forward with this thing. And Russia seems to be threatening them like almost on a regular basis now about joining. Nuclear weapons have always been kept in Kaliningrad, uh, uh, international community. The countries in the regions are perfectly aware of this. They use it as a threat, he added. Yeah, because it sure seems like it, because they've been threatening nonstop since, you know, it all came out about them um, joining NATO. All right. Moscow's invasion of Ukraine has triggered a U-turn for uh, Finland, a public opinion on becoming a member of the 30 country military alliance, which it has refrained from joining since World War II in a bid to maintain, they want it to remain neutral. That's what they're saying. Moscow has in its past warned of severe consequences and instability in the Nordic. If Finland were to join, if Finland joined the alliance, Sweden would likely follow suit. Finland and Sweden, as well as Ukraine, are already embraced opportunity partners of NATO. The closest form of partnership with the alliance partake in military exercises with NATO states. So I don't know, y'all. I do think something may actually jump off. You know, I think something may jump off. And I mean, it, it seems like ever since the announcement came out about Finland and Sweden joining within weeks, Russia has gone nonstop with these threats on those two countries. And if you look at a map, Sweden and Finland are right next to uh, Russia, right next to it. Not as big as Russia, of course, but they are definitely bordering on Russia. And wow, <laughs> this is, I mean, just from the invasion and now... Russia really putting their foot down about these two countries joining. And, you know, Ukraine, they're still not a member of NATO at all. And, you know, um, Russia also threatened them, even during the war, that they better not join. So we shall see. But I have a feeling this war is going to get a lot bigger <laughs> than what we're looking at. For real, y'all, if this happens, if this immediate attack, they are claiming they're going to put on these two nations if they join NATO. And now they are talking using nukes and de the deployment of nukes around these countries if they join. And he, you heard what he said. They're going to put the Air Force, the Navy and ground troops, you know, everything. And they said nukes are not off the table. I mean, this is, this is crazy. Man, I think if I didn't live to see this, I wouldn't believe it. But y'all, please tell me what you think about Russia's most recent threat of possible nuke deployment if these countries use, <laughs> go forward and they, um, Take that opportunity to join NATO. So weeks, I don't know. It could be May. It could even possibly be June. You know, but we shall see. I'm definitely going to keep up with this. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family. <music>